Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you this old-fashioned white gas-powered blowtorch. This was used a while ago for heating up rivets, soldering, anything a normal blowtorch would be used for. And I'm going to show you how to light it and other aspects of it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure it's full of fuel. Mine's a little low right now. So, wherever your fuel cap is, just unscrew it and get your funnel and your fuel and fill her up. Okay, now it's got all the fuel it needs. You can put the fuel cap back. Mine is pretty cool, it has the pump a part of the fuel cap. Yours may be different though. And then you wanna pump it up. Okay, once you have it all pumped up, you can uh, fill your trough with some fuel to preheat it, or if yours has a valve like mine does, you can use that to fill it up. A good amount. This works a lot better when it's not so windy, but when you, you can light the, the fuel and let it sit for a little while. And what this is doing is it's heating up the whole part here. Eventually fuel will be coming out right in there and it's heating it up so that the fuel turns into a gas when it comes out instead of being a liquid and will actually work better. Now it may seem like this is taking a long time, but the more it heats up, the more it's going to work better and the more it's going to get up to speed faster. Okay, once almost all the fuel is gone, you can start to open your main valve. It should hopefully be a gas by now. You can hear it sputtering a little bit. And when, when you see that big puff of yellow flame, that means there's still some fluid, like liquid, in between. Let's see if I can zoom in there. That little crack there, I'm not sure if you can see it, but when there's a big flash of yellow flame, it means that there is still liquid. Now you can go ahead and lift it up, use it. These things are pretty powerful, let me show you something. So I have this little dry flower, put it up on full blast. Gone in seconds. That's pretty cool, huh? It's also, most of the time, they're very quite adjustable. You can have just a barely a little flame going out. But it's also very easy to turn off when you just close it. And now there's no flame. But when it's still hot, it's a lot easier to start. You can just get a sparker and it go, goes right out or starts right up. I'm gonna go somewhere to see if we can see the flame. In my garage here, you can see the flame a little bit better. You can see in those holes there. But, works quite well. Now you know, it's pretty simple how to start and stop and maintain an old fashioned white gas blowtorch. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.